In our evolving economy, women continue to move into jobs that have been in the past largely male-dominated. There's increasing demand for highly skilled workers in the trades. Up in Kalispell, there's an effort to help women meet one of those needs. Whether it's to forge a new career or to just learn something new, it's a gateway to new opportunities. Kevin Mackey has our Montana Moment. In the Occupational Trades Building at Flathead Valley Community College, it's the first day of the Women in Welding Workshop. These women come from all different career backgrounds and all different ages. Julie Arnold begins with the basics. They're going to be able to learn how to clean and cut material, how to operate safely within the shop. And glasses back on. They're not walking away as experts, but they're walking away with at least a good ground to step on. Julie comes from a family of welders. Her mom and grandmother took community college welding classes, but it was Julie's grandfather who taught her how to weld. My grandpa was the one who just inspired me. Julie received her formal training at FBCC. Its director of occupational trades asked her if she'd like to start a woman-specific welding program. I jumped on it. In this inaugural class, she hopes to inspire these women. If you are a woman and you want a career in welding, you go for it. Women are in high demand as skilled trades. With nine students, this class is full, and there was a waiting list to get into it. Future classes are already filling up. Christina Moser is a mechanic. Um, I am a mechanic for Zantera. I work on the red buses that are the tour buses that go up into Glacier National Park, and I'm using this welding uh, class uh, to better my skills as a mechanic and uh, be able to do custom projects on these buses. Shelby is, Reed has a business uh, plan. To set up a trailer where I can weld bumpers, headache racks, and toolboxes, but with the bumpers I want to do built-in light bars. Never in high school did I go to a, one of the VOAG buildings to do something. All the boys went there. I stayed in the arts, in home ec, cooking. But Patty says today times are different. I love art and I've seen a lot of art that includes welding. And now that I have free time, I, I want to try something out new and different. Dr. Melissa Kaptanian is a surgeon at Kalispell Regional Healthcare. She's not changing careers. Absolutely not, no. Um, this just seems like a wonderful hobby. I had someone show me how to weld before and I really enjoyed it, um, but I wanted to put a foundation under that and really understand what was behind uh, the things that I was shown. They'll be able to uh, safely operate equipment such as angle grinders, shears, saws, but they'll also be able to troubleshoot machines and troubleshoot welding technique. It was awesome, empowering. <laughs> Julie says at the end of these workshops, women will have skills and confidence. The fact that they're satisfying this curiosity that they've had about welding is already such a big door open. Julie's grandpa opened that door of possibilities for Julie. Now she's opening it wide for more women to enjoy.